Okay, in this tutorial we're going to look at um, using the follower modifier in the text node to animate our text but word by word as opposed to each character. I'll just say from the offset that this isn't my idea, this isn't my sort of discovery. A chap on the Discord server by the name of Enigmatic came up with the solution and he's the shy and retiring type and asked me to do the tutorial. So that's where my sort of credit ends is I'm doing the tutorial. Okay, we will get into it. As usual, we're going to be going into Fusion, so we need our Fusion node. So come up to your effects library, make sure it's turned on, come to effects and grab your Fusion composition. I'll leave the demo there and just stick it at the end for now. Playhead over your Fusion Comp and into Fusion. So for this we just need a couple of nodes. We need the media out and we need our text node. You'll notice that the spline window is open. To open your spline window come to the top of the screen and you've got spline and just open it there and we will crack on so hopefully we've got some text so there is a really good video on the follower modifier that i will put a card to uh, it's worth going and having a look at so that you can understand how the, the follower modifier works i'm not going to go through it all now Okay, so we're gonna come into our text input area, we're gonna right click and we're gonna select follower. What this does is it opens a modifier at the top which we can now click on. Now by default, any delay or any following effect that you apply works on each character. What we want is to work on each word. So to do that, we're gonna to need to set up our own delay path so if you come up to the inspector where you've got order you can click that and right down at the bottom you've got manual curve and this is what we're going to be setting up so we're going to bring our playhead back to frame zero and we're going to keyframe delay character by position and this brings our animation path into the spline editor. Next we're going to come into our viewer and drag a box around the first word and you see the little green markers. Once you've done that come up to set first selected character delay and just click it and that's set your first keyframe. Now we're going to select the next word we're going to come to delay value and we're going to type 10 in that and then we're going to again click set first selected character delay then we're going to repeat this for the other couple of words so select your word make sure you've got green boxes around all your letters this time we're going to go up to 20 again set first selected character delay and then your last word and set your delay value to 30 and again set first selected character delay what this should have given us in our spline editor if you come up to this little button on the top right that says zoom to fit as you can now see this graph now this graph is still character by character at the minute. To make it word by word, we're going to select all these keyframes and we're going to come down to the bottom of our spline window and you have two right angles here. One is step out and the other is step in. We want step in and now you've got 
this sort of stepping pattern. So each word is this. Then once you get to the end of that word or whatever frame that is, you come on and you work the next word and so on. So it drops word by word. So once you set your delay pattern up, we can now start adding our effects. To do that, we come to the shading tab and I've been playing around, you can animate your opacity, you can animate your colour if you wish, and you can animate your position, and we'll concentrate on position and opacity for now. So come to frame zero, and go to position and offset, and just click the keyframe button. What this does is it opens up path one, which we don't want anything to do with we need to come back to the follower, so just double click follower and it will reopen for you. Now we come forward to frame 10 and we can change our Y value, so we'll make it minus 1. So now you notice the word word has dropped, so if we come back to our animation we now have our animation dropping word by word instead of letter by letter which is what we were looking for. What we can also do is we can keyframe the opacity so if you come to frame 10 which is where you want your word to be opaque set a keyframe on opacity come back to frame 0 and drop opacity to 0 we now have our text fade in as it drops, like so. And finally, what we're going to do is we're going to select these two nodes and just smooth them out to make sure that we don't mess up our step. We're just going to check there. These all become squares, so now you can't change this step uh, delay path but you can still change these two so if you get your mouse and just drag and select them both shift s on your keyboard add some smoothing if you then press t on your keyboard you get these ease in ease out values at the top you can have a play with those so I'll set them to about 60 each and that will just sort of have a nice slow start, quick drop and then slow finish. And that is all there is to it. So that's how you get a word by word animation out of your follower. Hope that made sense. Um, again thanks to Enigmatic for the information and the ideas. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.